हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रशांत विश्वनाथ धनशेट्टी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर सो टुडे आई एम यर टू एक्सप्लेन यू द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर यंग्स मॉडलर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ मॉडलर्स ऑफ रिजिडिटी लर्निंग आउटकम्स द लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस सेशन विल बी दैट स्टूडेंट्स विल अंडरस्टैंड द इलास्टिक कॉन्स्टेंट्स एंड इट्स रिलेशनशिप between young's modulus and modulus of rigidity so before we start for the expression we have to know some terms that is stress strain etc so when a body is subjected to a tensile load p so there will be increase in the length of the member whereas the same time there will be decrease in the other dimension that is at right angle to the line of action so here the depth has been decreased by d minus delta d and breadth has been decreased by d minus delta b the body is having an axial deformation and also deformation at right angle to the line of action of load so what is stress so it is denoted by sigma it is the force resistance per unit area offered by a body against deformation so it is sigma p by a longitudinal or linear strain it is the ratio of actual deformation to the original length of the body in the direction of applied load so it is given by delta l by l lateral strain the lateral strain are at right angle to the direction of applied load so lateral strain is equals to delta b by b or delta d by d poisson's ratio it is denoted by mu it is the ratio of lateral strain to longitudinal strain within elastic limit so it is given by lateral strain upon longitudinal strain but as lateral strain is opposite in sign to the longitudinal strain so lateral strain is minus mu times longitudinal strain so now we'll consider a block a b c d having a length l and it is fixed at the base and subjected to a force p applied tangentially at the top face cd so therefore there will be a deformation in the body so deformation will be a b c1 and d1 so shear stress tau and shear strain phi so it is given by shear resistance per unit area is known as shear stress and the corresponding strain is known as shear strain so shear stress tau is shear resistance divided by shear area so shear area will be length into unit width so shear strain it is transverse displacement upon distance ad so transverse displacement is d d1 upon ad that is h so we will treat it as equation 1 so now you will see elastic constants young's modulus it is the ratio of tensile or compressive stress to the corresponding strain within elastic limit so it is denoted by capital e so e is equals to stress divided by strain so it is e is equals to sigma by small e that is strain modulus of rigidity or shear modulus it is the ratio of shear stress to the corresponding shear strain within elastic limit so it is denoted by either c g or n so c is equals to shear stress upon shear strain that is c is equals to tau by phi now we will derive the relationship between modulus of elasticity and modulus of rigidity that is c so for that we will consider a block a b c d which is having a unit width and it is subjected to a set of shear stress of intensity tau on face a b and c d so a set of shear stress is always accompanied by a transverse set of shear stress of same intensity therefore the face a ad and cb will have the stress of same intensity tau and the direction of the shear stress on the block are either towards or both away from the corners so these are the shear stress so do you know by which principle this shear stress are going to act so you pause the video and try to give a answer to the video to the question so the correct answer is by the principle of complementary shear stress so now we will see the distressed body diagram that is a b c1 and d1 so the diagonal bd will experience a tensile stress of magnitude tau hence it gets elongated 
whereas diagonal AC will experience the compressive stress and hence it gets shortened. The joint effect of the two stresses on diagonal BD that is tensile strain due to tensile stress along BD it is linear so it is tau by E and whereas the lateral strain due to the compressive strain along this diagonal AC is again tensile so it is mu times tau E so that is lateral strain. So now the total strain along diagonal BD so it is the summation of both the strains that is tau by E plus mu times tau by E. So taking tau by E common we will get tau by E into bracket 1 plus mu. Similarly the strain in the diagonal AC will be of compressive nature so it the values will be same that is tau by E into bracket 1 plus mu. Now the deformed square block is A, B, C, 1 and D1. So the linear strain of diagonal it is change in length upon original length that is B D1 minus B D upon B D. So we will treat it as equation 1. Now draw perpendicular uh, from D uh, that is D E on line B D1. So we know that distortion D D1 is very small and hence angle D B D1. So this is B D D1 is very small hence we can take BD is equals to BE. So now angle CDB, so angle CDB is equals to angle C1, D1, B. So both are at 45 degree as it is a cube. So in triangle D, D1, E, so this small triangle D, D1, E, so this angle is 45 degree and this is perpendicular that is 90 degree. So length of D1 E, so this length is equals to D D1 of cos 45. So the cos 45 value is 1 by root 2. So length D D1 E is equals to D D1 upon root 2. So now in triangle A B D, this big triangle A B D, so B D is equals to A B square plus A D square. So B D is equals to a B square plus A D square but we know that as it is a cube A B is equals to A D therefore B D is equals to A D square plus A D square that is twice under root twice of A D square. So B D is equals to A D under root of 2. So it is equation number 3. So now tensile strain in B D so from equation 1 it is change in length upon original length that is B D 1 minus B D upon B D but we know that we have found out that BD is equals to BE so I will replace this BD by BE so the equation is BD1 minus BE upon BD but BD1 this BD1 minus BE is equals to D1E so it is D1E upon BD. So we have calculated D1E as DD1 upon root 2 and BD as AD under root 2 so we will put these values so I will get DD1 upon root 2 divided by AD into root 2. So by multiplying this I will get 1 half DD1 upon AD. So from equation 1 we know that DD1 upon AD is a shear strain. So this tensile strain in BD is equals to 1 half shear strain and the shear uh, stress is uh, uh, modulus of rigidity is shear stress upon shear strain. So from this we will put that value it is one half tau by C so we will put it as equation C. Now equating the two tensile strain along BD diagonal so it is tau by E into bracket 1 plus mu is equals to one half into tau by C. So now on both the side there is a tau so cancelling tau from both side we get one plus mu by E is equals to one upon two C. So it is equals to 2c into bracket 1 plus mu is equals to e therefore we can write c is equals to e upon 2 times into bracket 1 plus mu. So these are the references which I have referred. Thank you.